What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Super Nerd. Totally not our forest. I'm Shazam. Who are we talking about today? Today we'll be talking about Batman's villains. The best rogue gallery in comics. Hands down, bar none. I'd be willing to bet that at least your mother could name five Batman villains. And to prove that point, I'll call mine right now. Hey, Mom, you're on camera, so don't say any curse words. Oh, okay. How many Batman villains can you name? Uh, do you want me to start naming them? Yeah, name them. Uh, Riddler, Joker, Penguin, uh, Two-Face. Uh, that's all I can think of. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. There you go, proven point. Everybody knows a Batman villain. But, guess what? What? We're not talking about those guys today. Not all of them. Joker, Harley Quinn, nope. I wrote a whole script about them. Well, we're not talking about them. Throw it out. Okay. So, what are we talking about today? We're actually going to be talking about the beefy. The villains that couldn't quite ingratiate themselves into pop culture. Yeah, uh, if Christopher Nolan had kept making those damn movies, eventually you might have seen one of these guys. Just throw it away. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Just hold it the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> First up, the Calendar Man. Now, if 30 days hath September... <clears throat> Batman, but how? I hadn't even begun my new holiday crime spree. A terrible name. Yeah, he calls himself that because he obsessively commits his crimes on specific dates or important events and, and re or relating to important events in history. It's probably not too tough for Batman, the world's greatest detective, to figure out. Yeah, you'd think eventually this guy's gonna run out of holidays. But today I'm committing a crime on the 100th anniversary of Estonian Independence Day. Well, I mean, I'm sure Batman knows that too. I'm sure that that would honestly be hilarious. That would be. We can figure, finally figure out what Boxing Day is in Canada. I have no idea. <laughs> He also, just to make it a little more obvious what he's doing, uses weapons themed with said holiday or event, like candy cane rays and Easter egg bombs and... There's gotta be an exploding pumpkin in there somewhere. You get the idea, though. Next up is Man Bat. The birth of Man Bat. Yes, uh, originally named Robert Langstrom, um, whereas Batman is half bat, half man. Man bat is half man, half bat. Right. He tried to drink a scientific serum to get bat powers. It went horribly wrong and he turned into a horrible looking man bat. However, Batman does kind of rescue him from that and allow him to be able to switch back and forth free will, so. Mm -hmm. There's at least somebody out there that needs something similar to the man bat. Aquaman's opposite would be Sea Man. Sea Man. Yeah. And he is sticky. Up next is Solomon Grundy. Piping hot pizza. Wait a second. Aren't you? Ah! <laughs> Grundy, good actor. Solomon Grundy is basically an indestructible, immortal, undead, colossus thing. Yep, Solomon Grundy. He was born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, took ill on a Wednesday, grew worse on a Thursday, died on a Friday, and was buried on a Saturday. I think he missed a day somewhere in there, no, but... No, it no, didn't. No, it didn't. <laughs> you get the idea. He was named after a children's rhyme terrible children's rhyme, and has since, I don't know, found his way through the continuities of DC. 
He's fought almost everybody at least once. And yeah. Kind of like an anti-hero at this point. The Justice League cartoon really made him into a uh, sympathetic character. But yeah, like we said, he's fought everybody at this point. Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, seriously, take your pick. Seriously. He's been in the Legion of Doom, he's been in the Injustice Society. He's a, he, he's a journeyman. Up next, Clayface, or the nine different Clayfaces. See, I figured out how to manage this thing pretty good. Seriously, there's been nine, nine iterations of them. The original one was just a, a, an actor who had a mask made of clay that he could change. And then eventually there was like a genetic com uh, part to it because yeah. you know, they, he can actually change. And then, oh no, his skin is melting and it's convoluted. It, it it's truly insane. Is. My favorite Clayface is Batman the Animated Series, though. I don't even remember him in that. Great series, but don't remember Clayface. Phenomenal. Best cartoon ever. Mm-hmm. Okay, up next is Victor Zaz. Better known as? Mr. Zaz. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Victor Zaz. Like some other Batman villains, trained assassin, Great at martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat, et cetera, et cetera. What is his one defining characteristic? He cuts himself for every victim he kills. And there are a lot of There's cuts. There's a lot of them. Yeah, he actually has been in one Batman movie. Did you know this? No. The uh, Batman Begins. He is... Oh, they do say the last name Zaz. Yeah, he's the he is one of yes. the guys that uh, uh, Cillian Murphy Scarecrow is saying. Oh, he's insane. He needs to be sent to Arkham, and he does. Yeah, he does need to be sent to Arkham. Scarecrow was right in that regard. Speaking of Arkham, our next villain is Hugo Strange. Oh yes, a trained psychologist. Mr. Wayne, Doctor Hugo Strange, isn't it? Ah, uh, you know me. I read your monograph on the habits of clinically degenerate lunatics. Though not alone, was able to deduce Batman's secret identity, which we will not reveal here, uh, by making a psychological profile based on him. And he hit the nail right on the head. He was the main villain in the Arkham Asylum game. Yes, if you yes, played those, yes. Yeah. He, he like great. strings together all that mayhem and catastrophes that mm -hmm. happen. Most of his villains get him at a psycho psychological level too, which is just freaking fantastic. Fantastic. More proof for my theory that Bruce Wayne, the oh, edit, edit that out, that Batman is insane. Our next villain is Deathstroke, Slade Wilson. <laughs> He, again, international assassin, master of martial arts and weaponry and yada, yada, yada. Deathstroke has never failed a contract. Nope, not once. Most of our viewers probably first saw him on the animated Teen Titans show. Yeah. Where he used just called Slade. Uh, also, Arrow. Uh, Terrible costume on that show. Hey, the guy talks like this. You know how long I've been on this island? <laughs> <laughs> Our next villain thought I heard her call him my name now. Hush. She broke my heart and love you just the same now. Hush. Hush. That's right. It's not a deep purple song from the 1960s. It's Hush. Thomas Elliot. Thomas actually tried to murder his own parents so that he got their wealth, you know, prematurely and then got jealous of Bruce when his parents died and he inherited the Wayne family fortune. So then he dedicates his life to ruining Bruce's life. As you would. Finds out he's Batman from the Riddler and then comes up with this plan to kill Batman, make his body unrecognizable, take up the mantle as Batman and live the rest of his life as Bruce Wayne. 
Yeah. Um, Good plan. Yeah, uh, solid, foolproof. He's actually a very well-renowned surgeon, so he could probably pull it off. He's a bit different than the other guys on this list because his feud isn't with Batman so much as it is Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Which but, I don't know who Bruce Wayne is. Yeah. This completely secondary, tertiary, millionaire playboy that lives on the outskirts of Gotham. And finally, the newest member of Batman's rogues gallery and just jumping to the top of my favorite villains of all time list is the Batman Who Laughs. Over there. Oh, oh, okay. TNA's never looked behind us. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, I can't read, so please tell me about this guy. The Batman Who Laughs, basically the concept of what if Batman and the Joker fuse together? He's from some alternate dimension somewhere in the dark depths of the dark multiverse, where the Joker successfully gets his toxin into Bruce Wayne, making him equal parts Batman and equal parts Joker. <clears throat> well, that sounds like fun. It was a train wreck for everyone in the DC universe. He was actually the big bad of DC's metal and was so popular that DC just dedicated their entire year to putting the Batman Who Laughs in everybody's comics. This guy was so popular, he was in Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Batman, Robin, Superman. He was everywhere, Cyborg. The Batman Who Laughs took DC by storm. So, like, how does he see? He can see through it. The metal is see-through? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow, that's awful. This took the whole Justice League then some to defeat. So how, okay, never mind, that'd be spoilers. Does the Joker regret this? The Joker does regret this. Okay, there you go. Yes. For our me. Joker in our DC universe goes to Batman and actually tells him, I know how you can beat this guy. You're not going to like it. <laughs> the implication. <laughs> All right, that pretty much wraps it up. That's at least a dozen B-list villains that we're just shooting off here. I'll be 100% honest, kinda hard to get into them, really. There's a reason these guys are the B-list. Yeah, yeah, Thank some you. of them are awesome. Yeah, like Solomon De Grundy. Deathstroke, Solomon Grundy. Great, awesome. Great, yeah. But I think that's a testament to Batman's rogues gallery yeah. and how top heavy it is that you kind of had to put two freaking awesome characters like that in the also rands. Um, not their fault. No, 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 it's not their fault that they fall to the wayside compared to those amazing villains up top. Yeah. Anyways, I be sure to give us a like, subscribe for more super nerdy content just like <laughs> this. Let us know who else you want us to talk about, Rogues Gallery or specific characters down in the comments below. Or if you'd like to start pointless arguments with me, I'm always down for that. Uh, hit that beautiful bell button. Here's a video YouTube recommends for you. Here's one we think you might like. And until next time, bye. Goodbye. This is my Bane impersonation. Goodbye. Oh, the opticality and the darkness.